Namaste. I'm Sandy Gola. Welcome to Yoga Lounge. So for tonight, we're going to start out with a nice comfortable seated position so that we can tune in. First of all, how's everybody doing? It's been a very stressful time. So we're going to tune into the body and see if we can bring some relaxation just with our breath and with a little bit of a meditation. So gently we'll allow the eyes to just close. Begin to notice your breath, moving in and out of the edge of the nostrils. Noticing if you're feeling any tension in the neck and shoulders. And let's see if we can relax and release that tension. Relaxing the jaw. And letting the shoulders release down in the back. Soften. As you're softening still, let's lift up through the center of the spine so we can encourage some energy to come up in from the base of our spine and move its way up through the chakra system. A friend of mine was talking earlier about learning about chakras. So Basically, we want to have everything in balance for the chakras, not to be energetically either overactive or underactive. So just think of it that way, to basically bring everything into a nice balance between your physical senses, your sense of fear, apprehension about things going on, and then on the other side, being where it's so you're so floaty out there that you know you're not connected at all to the physical world so we want to have something that's really balanced both ways and also in the heart area so we'll bring our hands together in front of the heart and softly take a nice bow towards the heart and then we'll roll back up Let's gently relax the ear opening on the shoulder and coming back to center. And we'll just take the ear to the other shoulder and then come back up to center. And then looking over your shoulder with a nice rotation of your head and neck, inhale it back to center and exhaling the other way over the shoulder and then back. And let's release, working your shoulders up and back, up and down, back up and down, back and up and down. Very good. Okay, coming on to our um, belly for a moment. Belly down, forehead down, connecting to the earth. You want to feel comfortably uh, connected to the earth. So let's also take our toes Bring, bring our big toes together and slide the knees out where you're comfortable with that. And relax the head down towards the mat. Now some of you, your feet will be popping up because there's different anatomy, so some people can't have the toes all the way up. You can connect the toes, bring the knees out slightly. Let's do that. And it's fine to take your hands and place it underneath your forehead. And let's just breathe for a few moments here, relaxing through the hips releasing any tension you might find in the forehead and the brain. Just two more breaths now. Good, okay, let's stretch those legs out now, all the way to the back, toes are nice and stretched out as well. Walk your shoulders, walk your elbows right under your shoulders for a sphinx posture. In this posture, you want to make sure you lift up. So let's lift the head and push away. Push away with the hands and press. 
your body to a lifted position. Take a few breaths here. We're looking forward, slightly up. Not collapsing the body at all. Take another breath. Letting yourself press all the way up now onto your all fours position. And taking your toes tucked under, lift up into downward facing dog. And let's take a nice breath. Inhale, drawing the belly in. And exhale. Nice lifted heels. You can even bend the knees and really lift up towards the toes. We're just warming up. Exhale. Inhale. Okay, good. Let's take this again. Elbows come back down to the mat. Let's flip the palms facing up. Flip the palms facing up. Your thumbs are facing out. Tuck the toes under. Press up into dolphin pose. So this might be a little challenging for you, but it helps to open your shoulders. So take another breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale and let's release it down. Good, sink back into child pose. Take another breath, inhale. Exhale, good. Inhale, coming back up to all fours position, nice flat back, taking the right arm out to the side and opening it way up. Lift up and look up. Exhale, bring it underneath and lie onto your right ear, side, right shoulder. Inhale, come back out. Open it like a wing, lift it up. Exhale, and bring the right arm down. And now opening, inhale the left arm. Exhale, take it underneath. Looking up underneath the arm, hi. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Good to see you. Inhale, coming back up. And exhale, hands down. Tuck the toes under, let's press it out. This time we're going to drop down with your left knee and step forward with your right foot. Coming to inhale, nice lifted lunge. Exhale, fingertips down. Now sink back as you slide your heel forward. We're going to take a little hamstring stretch. So let's bring your toes lifted. Inhale, and then exhale, walk and fold over the front leg. Mm -hmm. Very good. And breathing. Stretching the back and hamstring. You can bring a little bit of bend into the knee if you need to. So feel free to slightly bend your knee. Keep your uh, hip directly over the left knee. Good. Lower the foot down. Now sink into it. Sink into your front of your hip stretch. Mm -hmm. Bring it back. Toes lift. Slide the heel forward and fold. We'll do that one more time. Each time you're taking a stretch a little bit deeper. So inhale, lift up. Place the foot down. Slide forward. Notice how you're, you're getting that hip flexor stretch in the front. Mm -hmm. Inhale, lift, slide forward. This is where you're going towards Hanumanasana, towards the split. So you can slide into as, as far as you like here. You don't have to go all the way down. You can be on fingertips, holding yourself lifted. And let's release, bring it back. Good, sink back, child's pose. Mm -hmm. Lift up into down dog. Take a breath there. Inhale. Nice. Exhale. Taking the right knee down. Step it forward with your left foot. Inhale and come to lifted low lunge. Exhale. Heart is open. Shoulders are drawn back. We're attempting to look up towards the line in the wall and the ceiling. Exhale, fingertips. Good. Sink back a little bit. Stretch out your leg and send the heel forward slightly. Knee is directly over. Un uh, knee is directly underneath your hip. Fold over the front leg. Good. 
Good. Inhale, lift up. Place the foot down and sink into that hip flexor. So right here is hip flexor. Sink into it. Stretch it out. So you're stretching the front side of the back leg and you're stretching the back side of the front leg here. Come back with your knee directly under the hip. Slide the heel forward and fold. One more time, we inhale, lift. Bring your body forward, hip flexor stretch. You're also stretching the back of the front hamstring. Lift up, inhale. And good, last time we slide forward, fold. And then from here, if you choose, you can start going down further towards your split or just stay lifted and hold. I'm staying here on this side. Fingertips connect. And let's release when you're ready and stretch it back. Good, taking your child's pose, relaxing for a moment in child's pose. Okay, coming up, we have one more nice sequence to work on. We'll press up into downward dog, lift the right leg in the air. Exhale, bring the toes down behind you. Inhale, sweep it out to the side. And on the exhale, bring it through and under the body. We're moving towards dying warrior. So as we start to settle down, onto the outside of your hip and your leg is directly across from you, perpendicular to your body. And then we slide your opposite hand forward, left hand forward, right arm out, and you can turn and look to the side. So this is Dying Warrior. <laughs> I hope I'm still in the camera frame. I think I'm not, but you'll forgive me. I hope. All right, let's bring our hands underneath the shoulders and come back out. We'll open it back up to downward dog. You can choose to take a nice open knee out, open downward dog, and then relax, bringing it back down. Now let's try the other side on that. So inhale the left leg in the air. Exhale, tuck it down behind you. Inhale, out to the side, and exhale, underneath. Here we go, sliding all the way down. Dying warrior, send your right arm forward, left arm out to the side. And you can look under either, look underneath. The easier way is look towards your foot. If you have more range of motion in your neck, you can turn and look away. When you're ready, let's bring the hands back under the shoulders and come back up to downward facing dog. Sweep it up in the air. Open the hip if you choose. And we'll exhale and release. Come down to the knees. And press it back. <laughs> okay, so coming back up to seated posture. Let's come to a nice Baddha Konasana position. Cobbler's pose, butterfly pose. How's everybody doing? Shoulders down and relax. Let's draw the elbows in really close to our body. Take yogic toe hold, lift, inhale. Exhale, extend and fold. Mm -hmm. Now, inhale and let's go a little bit further forward before we allow the chin to draw in and the weight of the head will continue to bring the head further down in the direction of the feet. One more breath. Inhale, bring the head up first, then lift the back back to sitting. 
Take your feet off the ground if you can. So if you're able to balance on your sitting bones here and you want to take it further, you can take the feet out to the side. The shoulders remain down and we're balancing. Keep drawing the spine, lifting the spine, lifting the heart, gazing up towards that ceiling line, the space where the ceiling meets the wall. Wouldn't it be great if the world had demarcations like the rooms do? Like if you could just gaze up to heaven and it's like the ceiling line is right there and you can just see it. I know. Sounds a little crazy, but it's the way I think about things sometimes. Bring your feet back together. Good. Now let's take a nice wide angle position. You walk back and forth a little bit, working into your hips. You can slide back and forth, open it out. All right, open the arms wide, lift up, and exhale. Let's bring the hands forward and slide into reaching forward. We're going to walk the hands forward, take the toes to the ceiling, knees to the ceiling, and then we'll go over to one side and stretch, fold, and exhale. Let's bring it back to center. Forward. And coming back up, walking over to the other side, and exhale. Nice. Let's work ourselves back up to sitting position. Bring the feet in all the way onto our backs now. So we're going to take ourselves to a gentle sequence for the back. Nice rolling bridges. So inhaling the arms overhead, reach, and exhale, bring the hands down alongside the body. We'll walk the shoulders under. So you want to lift one side, draw your shoulder under, lift the other side way up, draw the shoulder under, and then press up. Inhale and press the body up. Relax the glutes here a little bit. So you want to soften a little bit in the glutes. Bring your toes facing a little more in. Don't let your toes flay out. Keep them drawn in. Now let's take another breath. Inhale. Exhale, lower it down. Drag the body all the way flat there. You can open out and take your knees side to side. Next one, when you're ready, we'll inhale the arms overhead. Here you can feel your back really connect to the mat. Exhale, bring your hands down alongside the body once again. Work, work your shoulder under, pick up your shoulder and bring the arm under. Inhale, pick the other side up, bring it under you. I'm exaggerating because I really want you to get that movement. And then we'll press up. Mm -hmm. Next one here, if you're going to hold this one for a while, you might want to take your hands to your ribs. Mm -hmm. Slide the hands down alongside the body. Hold on to the sides of your thighs and then press up a little higher. You can give yourself that little bit of a boost. When you're there, maybe work your thumbs underneath your waist. Mm -hmm. Breathe, inhale. You can also put your sacrum on a support, a block or a book or something that you can uh, support your back with. Inhale, breath. Inhale. And on the exhale, let's release and lower it down, sinking into the mat, side to side movement. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, so we're going to bring the legs up in the air. Mm -hmm. Have your palms just down flat next to you. We'll take and bring your left leg and cross it over the right. Ankle cross, bend the knees, and then press them up. 
Mm -hmm. Bend the knees and press them up. Maybe get a little lift if you choose. You want a little core strengthener there. Bend the knees one more time. Press them up with a lift. And then finally bending the knees and let's take it out to supine twist. So take your both knees over to the right side, open the arms and look me over towards the left. And then let's see where you've come back to center. Good, taking the legs in the air. So if you wanna do a little bit of another core strength here, we can press up and then release. Press up and release. And last time you press up and release. Good, taking, wrapping now the right leg comes over to the left, ankle cross, bend the knees and press it up. Again, pulse if you choose. Bend the knees, last time, and press it up. Good. Opening the arms out, knees come over to your left side, looking out towards your right. Very good. And release, inhale, and coming back to center. Okay, excellent. Now, let's just place our hands walking under, underneath your sacrum and lift the legs for a few moments and just relax there. So if you do not have the ability to take your legs straight up in the air, you can always get a chair and place your, you know, bend your knees and just put your ankles and your calves on the chair. So that's another option for you. Just taking some weight, reversing the position, allowing the blood to flow towards the brain. Feeling more calm now. And I know I am. Let's relax. Bring it down, taking your final resting pose, Shavasana. These are just short little little yoga lounge. Just get you into a little mode. And so we'll start our final resting pose. Yes, those are my singing bowls. Facing upward, gesture of receiving, gesture of sur um, surrender. You really have to be in that surrender right now. It's best to do what we can to protect ourselves and surrender to the greater.
Let's bring your awareness back to your body. Bring your awareness, your hands on your feet, arms on your legs, gently. On an inhale, begin to stretch. Arms overhead. Exhaling, broadening within. And rock to the side. Settling on one side or the other. And in your own time, gently press yourself back to sitting up. Join me. Om Bhagavad Swaha. Om Bhagavad Swaha. Tat Savetur Varenyam. Tat Savetur Varenyam. Bago devasya dimahi, Bago devasya dimahi, Dio yuna prachodaya, Dio yuna prachodaya, Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaste. So I'm also teaching uh, Zoom classes for Studio 108 from Lyndhurst. That's Teresa Donios. And we are doing that on 6.30 on Tuesday night. So you can check for more information. Thank you very much. Namaste.